It looked like a p over there. <laughs> the brisket looks like, like a p Yeah, the way you oh. are. <laughs> okay. I'm f***ing pregnant! So a couple weeks ago, I gave my old Pit Boss pellet smoker to my buddy Blair, and he's been smoking up a storm on it. But he just texted me, and he wants to cook his first brisket, and wants a little bit of advice. So I'm going to phone him up and see if I can help out. Hello? Hey, it's Steve. How's it going? Hey, Steve. Pretty good. How are you? Good. I just got your text message. You want to try out a brisket? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of getting the hang of this new pellet smoker you gave me. Uh, it works pretty good. Thanks, by the way. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I've, I've pretty much only done like pork shoulder on it, but uh, girlfriend wants me to do a brisket. And uh, she showed me this video by a guy named Aaron Franklin. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So you think you could help me out making a brisket like, like his? You want me to help you out smoking a brisket like Aaron Franklin on a pellet grill? Um, so here's the problem. The first problem is Aaron Franklin is like barbecue Jesus. He started out... Uh, smoking brisket on a cheap new Braunfels offset smoker and in the past 10 years he's worked his way up to being like the best brisket cook in the world. I'd say if we were to judge a brisket by a standard of perfection that is like the standard of perfection we would look at and there's a couple problems with with that when you're trying to cook it on a pellet grill. The first is the bark. You can't really, I don't know if you've had this problem with smoking your pork shoulder, but it doesn't really have a lot of smoke flavor. The second problem is moisture. So it's, it's really dry heat on a pellet grill. And a lot of times there's not a lot of moisture in the cooking chamber. So, and it, it can also cook really unevenly because all that direct heat is coming from below. Whereas on Aaron Franklin's offset smoker, it's like really indirect heat coming from this huge cooking chamber that's really dispersed over the whole thing, over the whole cooking chamber. So it's a little bit different of a cooking process. And probably most importantly, Aaron Franklin uses the best quality briskets you can pretty much get in the US. They've got a ton of fat content and to get something like that is really difficult and it comes with a price tag. So it's pretty much impossible to make an Aaron Franklin brisket on a pellet grill, unfortunately. Okay, so I'll set, I'll set her sights a little bit, little bit lower and uh, I don't know, I'll just, I can find a recipe online. That's, if, 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 I'll figure something out. Yeah, sorry man, I can't help you. Okay, no problem. Okay, talk to you later. All right, talk to you later, man. Bye. <sighs> Aaron Franklin brisket on a pellet grill. What would you do, barbecue Jesus? You're a DIY kind of guy. You'd probably figure it out using things that you already have around you. Something to fix the bark problem, maybe. Something to make sure the brisket gets a lot of smoke flavor, but the bark doesn't get washed off after you wrap it. Maybe something to add a little bit of moisture to the cooking chamber. And maybe something to add a little bit of glisten to the bark to get that sugar cookie bark. Something I might normally throw away. Hello? Hey, it's Steve. Oh, hey. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll make the perfect brisket recipe for you and it's gonna look exactly like an Aaron Franklin brisket. Oh, th that's, that's sweet. I, I was just trying to figure out I was gonna convince her they were gonna do pulled pork again. Well, you can set your sights higher. All right, let's get smoking.
Hey. Hi, I'm home. Can you help me with the groceries? Yeah, sure. Just give me a sec. All right, guys, it's uh, it's pretty late. It's about two in the morning right now, and uh, I probed the brisket. It's it's not done yet, and I have to get up early in the morning, so it sucks. <laughs> this might be a fail video, actually. I think uh, I'll reheat the brisket tomorrow and see if it turns out okay, but it's probably gonna be dry, so I'm really bummed out because I spent about 150 bucks on this brisket, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's crappy, so um, yeah. That's what happens when you have to prioritize work over cooking brisket, so. All right guys, it's the next day after work. I just reheated this brisket really slow. I heated it in the oven at 225 degrees Fahrenheit for about four hours. I'm not feeling very confident about this brisket. It was uh, pretty tough when I pulled it from the Traeger last night. I don't know if it's gonna be tough. I don't know if it's gonna be dry from reheating it. So let's carve into it and we'll we'll see what we can see. And I'm gonna get my wife to do a taste test and she'll she'll tell us how good it is. So let's slice into this. Okay, seeing some moisture. Okay, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot more moisture than I expected. Wow. Okay, this is actually, this is actually awesome. Okay, so it was a long night last night and I had to pull it in early and get this brisket in the fridge because I had to get up early for work this morning. So a little bit of a challenge, but I reheated it. It's, uh, it's around 4 p.m. the next day, work is over and I'm going to get my wife's authentic reaction, the beautiful Jackie, who is how many months pregnant are you? 10. 10 months pregnant? <laughs> so you're gonna have the baby like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's our life right now. So I have the brisket that I cooked here last night, but I want to show you some of the brisket from Franklin Barbecue's A Meat Smoking Manifesto because I want to get your comparisons to the brisket that I just smoked and see if it looks similar. So here's one photo. So you can see how the bark is glistening, a bit of a smoke ring, there's some fat, looks like a lot of moisture. There's this one. Does that do anything for you? It looks good. So now let's take a look at my brisket. 
which is the beginner's brisket extraordinaire recipe. Mm-hmm. No, oh, real good. Yeah. It's still, it's extremely tender. Yeah. You're like, pull apart. So now that you've tasted this brisket mm -hmm. and you've seen some Franklin barbecue bi uh, briskets, pictures of them, would you say that this looks and tastes like you think this brisket might look like? Like, what's the comparison? I don't think it looks exactly the same because it, again, that one is more just the color of it. It's more red. It looks a little bit more fresh than this one which yeah. that you cooked yesterday. Um, but in terms of taste, like this one is incredibly juicy. The bark has great flavor. Uh, it's tender, it's pull apart, it like melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So I would expect that also like that one to taste yeah. that way. Um, so not, yeah, like no difference between the two. And But at the end of the day- Except like, for appearance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like you made this and I love you and that's what's most important. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what I learned through this process is you may never achieve the standard of perfection set by a Franklin barbecue brisket. I'll be honest with you guys, the flavor you can get from burning real wood in an offset smoker simply can't be beat on a pellet grill. But you know what? My family doesn't care. At the end of the day, the perfect brisket is the one you cook for your own family. Smiles and seconds around the dinner table, people engaging in conversation, having some good cue. The only opinion that matters is your family. They don't care about someone named Aaron Franklin on the internet. You're the barbecue legend at the dinner table and that's what really matters. Oh, and that recipe I threw out, I actually saved it and it's in the description section below. So you guys can pick up where I left off and make the perfect pellet smoker brisket. Just make sure you remember what's important along the way. All right guys, happy smoking and catch you in the next video.